This unique old building is the home of the Nazareth Area Society of Model Engineers. Founded in January 1980, the society is made up of a group of individuals who share a keen interest in the hobby of model railroading. The club has a huge O scale layout, an S gauge layout, an HO scale layout, and even an N scale layout, all housed in this old firehouse. When the model engineers first took over this building, the first floor was still being used to shelter the town fire engine, so the HO installation crew didn't get started on that layout for another two years. Let's begin our tour with the little N-scale layout. This layout represents two fictitious towns in the hills of Pennsylvania. Here at Timmonsville, trains pass by the passenger station. Waynesburg, the other major town on this railroad, is a few miles east. At Waynesburg, locomotives are serviced, stored, and turned on the turntable. The railroad has five long tunnels to pass through on this route. Steam engine crews complain about getting sick from the smoke and fumes getting inside the cab as they pass through the tunnels, so until the mechanical department can develop a permanent fix for that, steam engines will only be used under emergency conditions. To our in-scale crew, it's just another day of railroading. Up on the second tier of this section of the railroad, you'll find an O-scale trolley and a two-track S-scale main line. Both operate around a scale replica of the center of Nazareth as it looked a hundred years ago. Most of the buildings were scratch built by fellow club member Bill Gold. Out on the S scale main line, steam and diesel power are both at work in this scenic mountain lake setting. Meanwhile, downstairs, the HO scale layout is also humming with traffic. This is the home of the Mountaintop Steel Industry Company, and it's also the northern terminus of the Eastern and Northern Railroad. Here's the town of Little Turmoil. This is the southern end of the railroad and headquarters to the Mountain Division of the Eastern and Northern Railroad. Here's the elevated passenger station which extends over the main line. It's always a busy place with passenger trains arriving and leaving.
Out on the main line, freight trains move through the station without stopping. Here's the Slate Town car and engine shops. While these two fellows work on an ailing diesel, the four-track main line in the background is busy with action. This long straightaway looks a mile long, and long trains are the rule on this railroad. At the end of this straight is a multi-turn helix which carries trains upstairs to the town of Northampton Heights. Northampton Heights covers an area 20 feet wide by 50 feet long and includes its own independent freight line. The four-track main line also runs through town. This vast area contains many interesting sites like the Small Sand and Gravel Company, the Heights train station, Deal's intermodal yard, Winter's diesel engine facility, and one of the layout's most unusual features, the Nell's hump yard. This eight-track hump yard is 240 feet in total length and can hold over 540 cars. Cars are shoved to the top of the hump where they uncouple and roll down the gentle grade from the hump into the classification yard. Many modern railroads have hump yards for sorting cars for various destinations on the railroad. With almost 750 feet of track and 70 switches, this is a big layout. Underneath, there's eight miles of wiring to make it all operate. To give you an idea about how big the layout is, this beautiful farm and country scene covers a four by eight foot area. And there's a lot of traffic on the main line which goes by the farm. This large passenger terminal is a replica in miniature of Philadelphia's 30th Street Station. Trains run underneath the main station and you can see both modern diesels and vintage steam here. Not far from the station is a scene familiar to many people in the eastern United States. This is the Nazareth layout's model of Horseshoe Curve, a famous location on the former Pennsylvania Railroad. Like the real thing, there's a locomotive on static display at the curve, and lots of trains make their way around the curve in a steady stream of traffic.
The Nazareth Area Society of Model Engineers Club is open every Monday at 7.30 p.m. and new members are welcome. The Nazareth Area Society of Model Engineers thanks you for watching and invites you to come and visit soon.